Well, I chose to write the Imperfect Church in novel form for a number of reasons. I mean, the obvious one is that it makes the book fun and interesting to read. The average reader is going to be pulled from one page to the next, and they'll find themselves interested and immersed in this fascinating world, invested in relatable characters. But this book is not merely for fun. It's for learning. See, I don't think the church actually needs another book that simply communicates truth statements. That's been done before. There is such an abundance of this kind of literature at our disposal for us to take advantage of. But what I do think the church really needs are stories that show in detail what it looks like to buy into small and dangerous lies. And on the other side, what it looks like to turn from those lies to the truth. And I think this is what the imperfect church does and accomplishes. Now, I don't just want to communicate truth. I want to demonstrate it as well. And that's what writing in novel form has allowed me to do here. I wrote the imperfect church with church leaders specifically in mind. Anyone from a pastor to an elder to a ministry volunteer will find this book incredibly helpful. I've written this for you. That being said, any dedicated Christian that is a member at their local church will benefit from reading this book. It's a good question. I'm very passionate about armoring the church against the lies of the enemy. Jesus is the truth and Satan is the great deceiver. We all know this, but I find so many believers misunderstand the nature of the deceiver. See, the biggest lies are not the most dangerous lies. Big lies are easy to see and they're easy to invalidate. No, the most dangerous lies are the small lies that have big consequences. These are the lies that the enemy is sowing inside the church right now. And I believe that many churches and many Christians have bought into these kinds of small but devastating lies. I know that I have. To be a little more personal, some of the lies I address in this book are lies that I've bought into at one time or another. And so this is why I wrote The Imperfect Church. I want to address real problems within the modern church context. And I think I do this successfully in this book. So every Christian that reads this book with honest introspection will probably discover that there are small lies that they have bought into without even realizing.